dislikes dislike. Hello everyone. See you all there. I decided to do another topic about dislikes. I know that many of you wonder about why I'm talking about this again. Because I already made a video about what I think about dislikes. Well, this topic has the reason to give back to me because a friend of mine, Chloe. Well, I'll go back to the topic for a moment. And you may wonder, you may ask, Switch Dog, you already have made this video about dislikes before. So why do you do it again? Well, to now you ask, and the really answer is quite simple. Because one of my friend, Chloe, she had made a few videos over the past few weeks. And for most of that, she had get so many many dislikes and even some very rude comments, which I don't like. So to anyone who is if anyone it doesn't even like the videos, just send putting a dislike. That is okay, but you don't have to put a bad or even very much very mean comment. Also that's a very rude one. I mean come on. Is that even worth it? If you don't even like the video, sure, you can leave a dislike, but don't have to leave any bad rude comment. What is the point of you leaving us a bad, very much bad comment? I have received some bad comments in the past of my videos, and I always removed them. Sure, I can understand you don't it does that you don't even like the videos, but you can if you don't just saying that you don't like the video, but that's okay, that is not just a bad comment, that's not a rude comment. As, li as long as you don't leave us a very rude comment like, Oh, I hate this comic, you really should stop this video, remove it. That would be something. And why I bring up this topic right now? Because I saw one of my old videos that I made about two years ago, Shining Armor Cadence A New Life. That video has received over 717,931 views, and it has 5,400 likes, and it has 690 dislikes. I mean, that video has almost 700 dislikes. And I know fine if the people don't like the video. But that means I don't want to any one of my friends, one of my fans or viewers to ever receive any much bad comments. So if you had received any much very rude comments, immediately remove the comment from your comment section, or you perhaps block the person if it continues. I mean, no one would should have to be experienced with that. I don't. Since Chloe herself has been has some bad comments or rude comments over the past year or so. But no one should be experienced that anymore. But that is just one risk when you put up on a video on your channel that they always could be a very rude comment. If it happens, just remove them. But if there is if was one particular comment that you always should get inspired of. That is all the positive comments. That's for example, I can read one of some of my one of here. This is actually one of the most this from my story with Shining Armory King's New Life, I have received so many questions. So many this I mean this is here is one question from one person. Why so many alicorns? I mean, that is just... Why so many alicorns? That is... I'm very much surprised. And here's another surprise question is, why? I'm surprised kids didn't kick in shunning out of doing with other girls making a baby face. And that is one of the many questions I mean, yeah, 
but so far I couldn't see any mean comments. Even the people saying too many adicorns, I don't think that's as a bad mean comment. I mean that was something that they could experience as a positive or even just surprise. But rude comments and so many dislikes, that is a part of that is the risk when you make a video on your channel. Normally, I receive perhaps from one to five dislikes per video. But almost 700 in this particular video, I don't mind it. Because I can't force anyone to enjoy my videos or even like them. Because every time I know that if my videos uploaded would have so many dislikes, I don't remove my channel that video at all. I continue to make it have it on my channel, but as long I don't have any receiving mean or rude comments, that is something that I don't don't want to happen. But but back by back to the topic. Dislikes. I know that many of fans or viewers which have their own channels have put up their own videos about could be anything, like from the reaction to games, reaction to TV shows, or anything. You can always re re be prepared for any mean comments or even dislikes. But as long as you don't that. If this even this video still perhaps like has a, a thousand or perhaps a million dislikes, but still it would have like two million or maybe has ten million likes. If your channel or your video had ten thousand likes but only forty dislikes, but no good comments, keep the video, take that as an experience, and take the inspiration to make it continue, make your channel to grow. Make it as an experience that you make your channel to, to make it better. Because we learn from that. But as the point to dislikes. The point of the hand experience has to be a YouTuber. It is that you have to be experienced, have to be prepared for dislikes. But as long as you don't have received any much rude comments, then that is something that many takes very hard. Many YouTubers can take that very hard that so many mean comments and that they say even if you remove that video and their mean comments can appear almost on every of your channel or every of those videos you have uploaded. It happens that people have been received so many rude comments Telling them that that channel sucks, that you should stop your channel and just do something else. And it happens that the people suddenly delete their channel, all that content, all the work for all nothing, all the for perhaps a few years of work is gone for nothing because of being stalked or perhaps just bombed with such rude comments. I know that it is possible that even you remove, block the person, the person can always come back with a new name. And even you report that the person to YouTube can, through the, to the owner of YouTube about this person. But the person can still use a new name, a new avatar, and start over again. That happens so many times. So, what is the point? Many things, okay. If this happens ever again, I will shut down the channel and never come back. Many fans or perhaps other YouTubers have been going through that. But this life is a part of life of the experience on YouTube. I have get so many dislikes on several of my videos, and but I don't bother from that. As long as they don't give any much read or very rude comments in the comment sections, I don't mind that. But you have to be warned. These likes can happen on everyone. They can be on you know, one of those great YouTubers like PewDiePie, Dog the Wolf, Golden Fox, George Gorcher, Keyframe, Lightning Bliss. 
they can have received so many dislikes on their comments or on their videos over the past few years and perhaps even some rude comments as well. But have they given up their hope to get to inspire others? No, they haven't. They continue to channels even if they've received so many dislikes on their channel. That is something we all should learn to know, experience. Dislikes is part of YouTube life. If you receive from one to most like 50 dislikes on one video, don't stop. Just continue. Because that is something that you always have to be prepared for. Even if you upload one of your own story, uh, like a vlog video on your, on your channel, like experience of your visit us on Comic Con or Brony Con, you can be prepared for that. You can receive some bad dislikes from that. But that is a part of history, part of history experience of to be on YouTube. But I do say from my experience, I have received a ton of dislikes over the past 10 years. Oh, well, almost 10 years, but still. I don't take that as a bad way. I always continue my channel to grow. Even I learn from my some mistakes that but people don't like the stories or even perhaps they don't like the videos I make. That is something up to them to, dis to like or not. I can't force them. If they don't like it with the video, they won't want to come back. But as long as they don't leave any so much so evil, rude comments on, my, on any of my videos, I'm okay with that. But as long that people only leave leaving dislikes or likes. Even if my channel has been up for nearly 10 years, I can leave myself saying that this part of life to be on YouTube, every YouTuber has experienced this. It doesn't have to be mean that you have to remove the damn video because it has too many dislikes. It has to not be that. There could be many music videos of like Malcolm Jackson, uh, Lady Gaga, or many others. Even those video store, those videos or the music store videos has been like from one to almost like twenty million views. They can also have a few thousands of dislikes. Even if that people don't even like that particular video or not, but don't remove their story or your video or even delete your channel because that you have so many dislikes. Continue learn from it. If you don't know that people don't like that particular video, maybe you can do something much better, perhaps, to learn from your experience. So, even if you've seen so many dislikes over the past few years, or for the past few weeks or months, don't stop to channel. Continue. Learn from it. Learn from your mistake, learn what you have learned, and continue to make it even better content. That was I had learned. I have learned from my mistakes on my videos that that people doesn't don't even like them anymore. So I could try to continue to make something male, so that's something more experience, something more real life, real, realistic, something more true stories. But that's what I am. So everyone, that is why I want to talk about this about dislikes this time. I hope it won't be another one, but who knows? But it is always. Subscribe, leave a comment, and as always, this is Swedish Outlook, over and out.